Most of us have seen the frightening images, like these from the tsunami that happened along the coast of Japan back in 2011. The devastating tsunami was triggered by a massive earthquake offshore. Experts on our coast now agree a similar subduction zone quake and tsunami will happen here. It's just a matter of time. To start designing buildings and bridges and things at the coast, we need as much information as we can about what we should expect when the next tsunami comes. Oregon State University engineer Ben Mason and his colleague Maggie Exton have been able to get a unique glimpse into what a tsunami could do to the beaches and communities beneath it, thanks to this old NASA centrifuge at UC Davis. And so this is the model. The researchers set up a miniature model of our coast, complete with soil and water, attached to the same spot where the astronauts once sat, and then sent the centrifuge spinning. The force created allowed the researchers to simulate a large tsunami. They were able to see how the ground will move when the waves come on shore and then recede. And more importantly, they saw just how much will move. As you know, if the bridges, for instance, in a coastal town collapse, that has a huge effect on evacuation and um, in restoration efforts after the, the disaster as well. And if we are preparing for um, a Cascadia event, uh, this could be really helpful in um, trying to minimize some of the um, ca casualties and then also the economic losses. The researchers also found if there's a structure on the soil, even something like a road, the damage caused by a tsunami is significantly worse. They say the next step is to use this information to build better vertical evacuation buildings and to retrofit bridges in the tsunami zone, fortifying for the future using a piece of the past. Usually you really focus on the testing that you're doing there and getting the correct results, but occasionally you think back to how it was used for the space program too, and you get the privilege of also using that piece of equipment. It's really cool. Yeah, that must have really been cool. Now, this latest research focused mainly on the soils and what happens to the ground in a tsunami. The researchers say their next round of research will look more at what happens to the structures, those actual structures on that soil.